What's good, Producer Life family, and welcome back to the channel. I'm your man, Big Boy Tracks, and welcome to another episode of The Producer's Life. Today, we're doing a 90s R&B type of beat, and this one's gonna be a mixture of like H-Town mixed with some Jodeci. I'm gonna try to keep it as dope as possible, and I hope y'all enjoy this, so I want y'all to sit back and relax, and let's jump into it. Let's go. So I got a basic drum pattern already lined up. It's just basically this. Just a snare, a kick, and a hi-hat. It's real basic, so I'm gonna play it for y'all. That's basically it, just something real basic. Just real simple. I like that. I may add some variation to the end of that later, but for now, I'm just gonna keep it. Next, we add in one of my favorite instruments. Y'all know what it is, the bell. A lot of early 90s R&B, when they used the bell, it had a lot of reverb on it. Like I said, it was still borderline late 80s R&B in a way. But let's go ahead and record this bell in there. Definitely about to have to fix some of those. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the cheap way, y'all, and I'm gonna chop it up. For some reason, it's more easier for me to do it that way. Go ahead and copy and paste the newly one over here. That should be right. Now I'm about to go ahead and lay down a string. I think I may have two type of strings in here. I wanna have a string in a higher octave, but right now I'm gonna keep it in the kind of lower octave, not too far away. But I'm gonna share what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and record the string in there real quick. Real subtle. I actually messed up right there, y'all, so I gotta fix that. But I, I didn't wanna stop while I was recording, so I just kinda let it ride.
So I'm about to go ahead and layer the current piano that I have because I want to make this track sound much more fuller without going too crazy and adding in a whole bunch of different melodies, which a lot of times you can throw the beat off. The electric piano gonna add some warmth to this beat and that's what I want. So I'm gonna basically just copy and paste it. I'm not gonna play it over again, I'm just go ahead and copy and paste it. Go ahead and copy and paste that directly down below. See how much, much fuller it sounds. Now, a lot of times you may think you need some more crazy melodies to a beat, but in all actuality, all you need to do is, is layer some of the sounds that you already got there to make it sound much more fuller. So um, that's what I just did. And I may add a few more sounds in there. I'm not sure yet, but we'll see what we come up with next. All right, y'all, so next I'm about to go ahead and record a flute in there, and I'm using a pan flute again. The pan flute is really starting to become like one of my favorite instruments. Like I said in one of my other videos, it's like a magical sound when you hear it. I think because I've heard it in so many movies, fantasy type of films, you know, when you listen to the soundtracks, you hear that pan flute. It just gives off a, a, like an island, you know, Caribbean, like far away, lost at sea type of vibe. So that's what I'm about to record there. So let's go ahead and do that. So the last instrument I'm gonna add is really just an effect in uh, the Korg M1. And a lot of the R&B beats in the 90s, I know that they will have like these little weird, sometimes they sound like C's. It'd be these like random sounding sounds at the beginning of their tracks. And uh, I just think it'd be dope um, kind of for the build up for the beat. So I'm gonna go ahead and record that. And I kind of want that just to right before the beat drops. So y'all know what time it is. We about to go ahead and get this track arranged. I'm gonna track out the drums. Probably do a little bit of tweaking to the beat so y'all can hear what the possible finish track gonna sound like. So let's hop right back into this, y'all. Let's go. So that wraps up this beat making video, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed that. But overall, I think this beat came out pretty good, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments below. And if y'all have any other ideas, don't hesitate to drop a comment below. And if you have not subscribed, make sure you go ahead and do because I will be coming back with another beat making video very, very, very soon, as I said before. This is 2022 and we going up this year on this channel, y'all. I wanna thank everybody for kicking it with your man, Big Boy Tracks, right here at your producer's life. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace.